My name is Mario Saeed, I represent Trojan Free Fire Gloucester. Uh, my record is 14 and 5. I represent Kurdistan and England. Over there, you know, I represent MMA, the whole country behind me, um, the president behind me, they love me. I take people down and fucking smash them. That's, that's what I do. I'm gonna finish him. I guarantee you I'm gonna finish this guy. It will be first or second. He's a good fire. He's gonna come out aggressively. I'm gonna come out aggressively and I'm gonna fuck him up. Security, bro. I'm <laughs> telling you, my crowd is crazy, bro. Last yeah. time I fought in Polish, Paul yeah. was choking guys out in the side. Like, we come from Sweden, from Germany. Okay. Oops. 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 You know, all people don't fuck it, you know, right? <laughs> The whole fucking good just there. Just went and see. Yeah, that's yeah. the truth. You look big. Yeah, you look wide up. Heavy on his front foot. I'm gonna come show this guy now. I'm gonna finish him, no, finish him quicker. He, he, he looks strong. Yeah, he does. He gotta shot this himself. So, I, I, bro, if I get that position, even Jesus is one fucking stick. I flatten his ass out, trust me, he ain't got no. I'm not gonna finish him all. I'll board him until he give me that choke. What? See, that's already finished there. That's already finished. Yeah, there we go, done. That's all right. If he didn't finish it, this guy is shit. You gotta finish it. Yeah, fuck, I need it. You don't have power. Modify it, front end. Yeah, like a modified one. It's like a rear naked chuck. Rear naked chuck, but it's more in the front. Yeah. He left the chin out too many times. Yeah. It's gonna be a good fire, I'm telling you. I'm not gonna take this guy lightly, no. He's got some power on him. Mm -hmm. He got more aggressive right here. I'm stronger. I know I'm strong. What's his record? Uh, I am free now. It's good. I am free, yeah. It's a good record, man. It's good. It's a good name. It's good for the first fight back. Man. What are you now? 14 and 5. So this is your 20th, 20, 20, 21st pro. Yeah. 15 and 5. 20th pro fight, yeah. You know they offered me you one time? Offered a brain? No. But at all. Offered me you. You me. I'm like, did that say he's gonna fight me? Nah, mm -hmm. I never got offered that. Yeah. I never Two got called offered. me, said, you wanna fight that? Hello. Yeah. What show is that for, Ben? Bellator. Uh, I think it was London Card actually. 
Oh. That garden go ahead before me? Yeah, yeah, sure. I said, you... did Dan say that? <laughs> and he's like, no. no. I'm like, well, go speak to Dan. And if he fucking said yes, say Mario said yes. But I don't think Dan would say that because yeah. we know each other. I never even got offered the fight. He asked me if I wanted to fight on London. So he I know he was in the car because he told me he was looking for a porn for you. Yeah, he called me up and he said, uh, London. I'm taking a wrestling, submission wrestling on a BJJ class. Uh, teach every Tuesday. Um, I show a few wrestling takedown. Also, I'm gonna show the back take and finish the triangle on the back. Lawrence, that's a 30 push up, you late. Oh, I forgot, he's a bare knuckle champion, sorry. I, I got a new partner for you. This guy will get you, you know, <laughs> this Paul's son. <laughs> he, he come down just to train with you today? All the time. All right, let's go, Mark. Hey, Sal. I touch Figgy's forehead, literally, just little touch to get a reaction. I step with my back feet to ground the front leg. So we're in a wrestling position, we move on. Look, as I do this, little retraction, my back coming in, I pull my head in. As I get my head in, I get touch. I posture up straight away here. I make sure I don't lean in, because I'm on a butterfly, he will sweep me. So then straight away, I shut the hips up, put my heads up. So have a look again. We're in a wrestling position, we're here, we fight in hand. Look, little touch, my back feet go first. I get deeper here. I can't stay here because he's gonna defend. So what I do instantly, I pull my head out for a split second, I tap the back of his knee, I get him, straight posture up. I shut the hips off. Any question? Three, two, one. I could be here, here, whatever here. Come here, look. As I here, look. I sit on it. Now try to go away. Bam. Does that make sense? But if I'm here, try to go away, it's easy. So I wanna shut his hips off. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. So I'm on this position, I hear a level check, my back straight, I shoot it straight away. Get here, I give it out, I shot her. He pushed me away, I cover a lot. See the hips? Now I'm here, one hip escape. So this is not valid anymore. Knee slide. Slide to the mouth. Any question? Three, two, one. <laughs> I didn't even have this. Yeah, it's a, no, that is. Yeah, but look, I got this. You can go. That's, that's shame, man. I was just holding there. <laughs>
said, right, it's going to get paint on it now. It's going to flick all black oh, dots on don't it. do that to me, man. <laughs> We're at Team Underground. Uh, fighters class in the morning being taken by uh, Rico Biggs. Um, just getting the last preparations ready for all the guys fighting. Uh, Thomas, Thomas is obviously fighting on golden ticket, so uh, main event. So it's going to be an interesting fight. Just working on some little bits and bobs, ready to go. What's camp been like? Camp has been brutal, as always, um, but Thomas loves it. He thrives in that situation. Um, I think he's the fittest and strongest he's ever been. No, I guarantee he's the fittest and strongest he's ever been. He's um, everything. He's, every mistake that he made in his last fight is rectified. He's ready to go. It's going to be an interesting fight. Get ready for fireworks. Just walk straight onto the plane. Everything they got, every just sitting for fucking leg, fucking leg <laughs> the room, everything. And he's just like, oh, I'm deaf. And they're all like, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it as well? Yeah. Oh, was like, you? No. <laughs> as soon as he gets off the scale after cutting all this weight, he's drinking cans of coke, and I'm like, whoa, stop. So he's like, oh, 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 and I'm eating everything. I was like, whoa, we've got to rehydrate. <laughs> I was like, four o'clock in the morning, 
I'm asleep. But, oh, fuck. He's in the toilet going, <laughs> So I'm at, we're never hitting him on the back, yeah, trying to get this shit out of his body. He's fucking having a. I thought he was going to pull out this fight. He's like, oh. And because he's deaf, he can't hear. So he's like, you know, like to us, so you'd be like, Argh. he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, so I can imagine someone walking in and there's me punching him, like hitting him with a bag, and he's like, <laughs> okay, yeah. so he ends up having the fight, he has a fight, and he wins the wins both of the fights. So like, he went to the sky and get pissed in Germany. I was like, mate, we got the flight is at fucking seven o'clock. He's like, we'll be all right. The show didn't finish till 11, 12 o'clock. So I was like, all right, end up fucking going somewhere and the deaf people fuck me. <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, they're smashing, but they're smashing Germany. There's 50 of them from Russia and everything, all around Italy. These people just come from nowhere. They don't know them. They're just all supporting him. Getting battered. All these fucking birds, they're falling all over the shop. We got at this guy could not fucking walk. Now, when someone's drunk, it's hard enough. When they're deaf and drunk, deaf and drunk, fuck. So, like, <laughs> so he goes to me, come on, come on, let's get on the uh, uh, on the train. We've got to get our train at four o'clock in the morning to the, the hotel to pick up our bags. I'm like, I don't know where we are. I get on this train, I run past, and he's like, don't worry. I was like, I haven't got a ticket. I don't want it nicked in fucking Germany. He's like, don't worry, just pretend you're deaf. <laughs> Did you? Pretend I'm deaf. <laughs> so they come on, and they're all sitting there, right? And this ticket is fine. Tickets, tickets, tickets. And I'm like this. <laughs> the guy's talking to me. And like, tickets, tickets. And I'm like, he's like, don't worry. Tickets. And I'm like, huh? Oh. <laughs> the guy's like, deaf, I'm deaf. <laughs> I didn't know what that was. The guy's like, all right, it's sweet, no worries. But I was like, this fucking works. <laughs> this fucking works, mate. So he, by now, he's so fucked, right? Because he's had two fucking fights. He's drunk as fuck. He ain't slept in God knows how long. He was fucking chucking his ring up the oh, he, he was in pale, white, it's just a state. He gets to the airport. And I was like, oh, we're going to be late. Remember, we thought we were going to be late. So I'm running. And he's like, oh, oh. I get to the fucking thing, I've got my passport out and there. And uh, they just started screaming at him. They wouldn't have it, they were like, he's drunk, he's not coming on the flight. Fucking no, stay there, you're not going, call security. He's not getting on, he's not getting on, he's not getting on. He won't, uh, uh, I'm deaf! They went, okay, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> and they looked at me and I was like, no, I'm deaf, no. <laughs> <laughs> we got on the plane. That's great. Well, you. <laughs> Years ago, I actually trained someone uh, who was blind, and he, was, uh, he, he joined one of the boxing classes. And I honestly thought that was going to be was going to be really hard. And I suppose you kind of stereotyped him and say, "Oh, you kind of." Some people just have a laugh with them, really, but it's not really fair because when I trained him, I thought he was actually amazing. So he, that, this blind guy, has given me confidence. So for someone like Thomas, it's a piece of cake. He's so good, good, good at what he does. Like he can lip read so good, and 
even if he can, it, he's got such a good fighting brain that if I just show him, show him something like from a shadow box, he knows it straight away, and he'll just he'll show me the combination. Do you know? So I have to give him credit, and 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 it's inspiring because a lot of people would just like say, oh, if you're born deaf or if you if you become deaf or blind or anything, you'd say, oh, there's no point. There's no point, is there, because I can't do it. But you can if you dedicate yourself to it. So I'm proud of him. Nice guy. We're in Elephant Castle, and I'm with this Wally, the champ. We're going to play this uh, point blank for the show, man. It's done. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> 